Because you see, mothering, just like anything else, to be a good mother is responsibility. Esther was a queen, but she wasn't a good one until she took on the responsibility of dying for her people. That's when she became a good queen. You can be, you can call yourself a Christian, but you aren't a good Christian until you're willing to die for him. And it may be physically, it may be spiritually, it may be to this old flesh. Because that's what Christianity is. And you see, there's a lot of people who want the trappings of being a Christian, but they don't want the responsibility of being a Christian. They don't want that burden, they don't want that cross. And if you think that today that there's a lot of people in churches where the gospel is being preached, why do their children not come to the Lord? Because the children realize this is going to be a responsibility and I don't want that one. It was like when I was a young person and I had decided there were two things I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be a pastor's wife and I didn't want to be a farmer's wife. And then in walks this guy and what did he want to be? A farmer or a pastor or both. And so I broke up with him. What choice did I have, right? I didn't want the responsibility of being a pastor's wife. I didn't want the responsibility of getting up every morning and milking cows. There was a lot of work to both. I didn't want the responsibility when someone came to my house and if I wasn't listening to Christian music, I'd be considered a bad Christian. I didn't want that. Now I can't imagine listening to anything but Christian music. (laughs) See, when you step out, when Esther said, see, it wasn't there, it wasn't Esther, she didn't save her people at that point, but when she was willing to make that sacrifice and say, if I die, I die. Everybody pray for me, I'm going to need it to make it through. There's nothing wrong with that. God sees our weakness, God sees our inability to do it without him. God sees our inadequacies and how we can't take on that responsibility without his help. So pray for me, folks. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your worship leaders. Pray for your grandparents and your parents. Because you think it's not a struggle for them to serve the Lord every day. You're wrong. The temptation gets just gets different. Every day is a commitment to serve Christ. If there's anything I've learned in my 40 years, 50 years, 60 years of walking with Christ, it's that every day there's a decision to be made. You can't leave that down. You can't let that down. you got to pick it up, put it on, and say, today I'm going forward. I'm taking that responsibility. See, and that's a lot of times we think that parents don't want to step out of that protege role. We think that they want to hang on, but that somebody doesn't want to step out and say, here, you take on some of the responsibility. But we have a lot of people who want to, oh, I'll do that, I'm sure they get, Debbie gets that in her classroom all the time. I'll help you with that. Well, yeah, but that means you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you, oh, yeah. Hey, where are you? Come back here. No. It's like when an employee walks in and they're applying for a job and they tell me, oh yes, I know how to do that job. I learned that in college and I'll be right and you can hire me because I've got it all figured out. I've done it all. And you're like, okay. And then you have the next lady who walks in, and she's like, well, I'll do the job. It's going to be hard, but I think I can do it. But I've done it for 10 years, and I know what that stress is like, so I'll help you if I can. Which one are you going to hire? The one who realizes that this might be a problem, but she's going to try? Or the one who thinks they've got it all figured out? The responsibility is not easy. And that doesn't matter if you're a mother, It doesn't matter if you're a sibling. If you want the word good attached, there's a responsibility. Whether you're a good boss, a good employee, a good sibling. Why was Mordecai a good cousin to Esther? Because he took on the responsibility of being there for her when she was a little girl sold into slavery. You think he didn't have his own problems, guys? He's just sold into slavery. He's probably a young man, maybe not much older than Elijah. Now you're taking on a two, three-year-old girl to take care of and protect, maybe four. That was responsibility. We shy away from responsibility. Shy away, we run the other way. And then we want people to tell us that we did a good job. Good job means you did the work. You took the responsibility. You did what you needed to do. Why? I'll repeat. Why was Esther a good queen? Because she was able to enamor the king with her beauty? No. 
She was a good queen that she took the responsibility. When she said to Mordecai, I will do it, and if I die, I die, he then could take that responsibility off of his shoulders and put it on hers. Now, that didn't mean Mordecai was done. No, he had lots in his life yet to do. When it came time to name the, name the Purim Fest, he's the one who decided when it was going to happen and stuff, and I'm not saying that, but I am saying that there's plenty of responsibility to go around. <laughs> and if you want to be called a good Christian, step up and ask God what's the responsibility he has for you.